way you win. Another coin pusher game. Sherry and John here. And John set this up, so I'm not really sure what's happening. Hey, I didn't set this up. The game house set this up. You are the house. Oh, okay. Man. We've got this dagger looking thing that he says is not a dagger. Um, and Santa is on there. And we got a, and there's a reindeer it's on there. It's the Sword of Justice brought to you by PETA. Okay, so go ahead. Talk to me. All right, PETA has heard about shenanigans going up at on at the North Pole and is coming to investigate. We've got to get Santa, the reindeer, and the Christmas cricket out of the coin pusher before PETA investigates or finds what? wrongdoing. Oh. Or doesn't find wrongdoing. We don't know. In addition, notice we have two tokens on springy thingies over the owner return slots. We have to actually move the springy thingies all the way out the owner return slot, try to get those tokens off and into play. It might be possible to also have that springy thingy drag here, hit the mystery bag, pull the mystery bag off, and into play. That would be an epic Uber game yeah, move. Okay. Probably not going to happen. Let's go. Okay, ready? Let's go. Set. What's your There we go. I'm playing hard right. Let's see if I can get this reindeer. It looks like Rudolph. We've got to load up the play field with enough quarters to hit those side tokens. I'm working on it. <laughs> Don't you see me working on it, man? What do you think I'm doing here? Wow. All right, rapid fire on the right. Copycat. Copycat. Meow, meow, meow. All that springy thing is already starting to move. Don't knock the power down yet. You got to see if it's possible to move those springy thingies. Or yeah, it's pushing. Or they'll just jiggle around a whole lot and nothing will happen. We'll find out. Then we'll know. Everything we play, it's like, every time we try something new, it's not like there's a book that says, hey, you know, it'd be a cool thing to do on a coin pusher. We we just, we're writing the book. We're writing the book. How casinos oh. need to set up their coin pushers. <laughs> or not. Goodness. I don't think that's going to do anything. It might not. You should have probably like, test pushed it. I did. It worked. It worked? It worked in testing. It worked in testing. You know, like so many things. Like so many products that make it to market. That's right. It worked in testing. When you test it, it works great. When you actually go to use it, not so eh, much. Not so much. Oh man, think of all the crazy products that probably work great during testing. Oh yeah. Oh, did you see that springy thing? <laughs> it stretched all the way out and then stretched back and said, I'm not moving. Oh man. I think we got trouble. But when the PETA representative, whoa, makes it into the loot cam, that's it, right? The, the game is done, that's right. And it may be those two side pieces are in fact out of play. From yeah, the get-go. So if we get Santa and that other reindeer out. I think that's gonna be the game tonight. I'm kind of getting thoroughly wrap this game. Well, I, I like how those springy thingies are throwing quarters back into the machine. I know, it's just like, nope. That, ah. could, that could be a hazard in some games because you want to try to move pieces to these outside edges because they push oh, the most effective. Oh, but it imagine could also, as a bumper. You can open up the owner return shots again and have those deflectors. Right. And so there's still the possibility that you don't get the thing. That's right. Okay. Look at the, look at the possibilities that opened up with the screen things. See, you never know. You Who would have thought a couple of springy thingies could be so interesting? The one over there standing on its head. So as of right now, side quest has technically been achieved by default, which means we just need to rescue Santa and Blitzen. Well, you might you might think it was Donner, but it's Blitzen. Okay. Good news. You can tell because he's going to blitz out of his coin pusher as fast as we can get him. Hmm. That 
mosquito guy doesn't look like friendly. You know, I think I think Peter has some. Uh, I think he some had some kind of functions. life changing experience. I think Peter can be was a good. happy guy once upon a time. Then he's just had a horrible life changing experience. Well, later. probably after working for Peter long enough, you see some things you don't want to see. You see some things. But we all have things that like, change you. We do. Otherwise, everybody would be just happy go lucky 24 7 if you never had something to change you, for the good or for the bad. Like, you take that curve a little too fast as a new driver, and you learn, hey, don't take that curve so fast. Slow down. Obey the speed limit. Speed limits. Oh, wait, that's, that's, that's that, those red numbers on the speedometer, right? You want to try to go with the. Have you ever had something that really changed your life? I have. I had many some things that have changed my Me life. Me too. Well, there there are all kinds of things. There's a lot of lessons learned. Every gray hair in my head is a lesson that I learned. Um, some happy lessons, some not so happy. Some just must have had a heck of a guardian angel watching over me at the time. <clears throat> Somewhere, the, somewhere, I think my guardian angel just stood back and said, let's see how this plays out. You, know, you, you do some bonehead things and you learn from them. You have some losses that really make I'll you appreciate quick. things that you have. Wow. That Peter guy is just about coming in. He's just about touching the glass. He's going to be bumping the camera before you know it. I'm concerned the PETA guy might jump off of there first. No, we're not going to think about that. Look at him just jiggling over there. Big push all the way across. Moving on forward. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Ooh, a quarter fell in the bonus hole. Ooh, I think I can get another one in there. Come on. To the troll hole. Go in the troll hole. Go on. Go on this little quarter. Oh no. Maybe it works. And woohoo! I got it in there, did you see? I saw. Oh, come on, it's another one. Because it's kind of right in the way of the structure. Oh man. It's slowly creeping up. It will be hitting that glass here in a minute. You know, I'm always amazed to see these people who win the lottery, like millions of dollars, like three years, uh, three years later, they go bankrupt. they bankrupt and they have a drug addiction and stuff, and it's like, why? Why? That was enough money to get anything you could ever think of having and have money left over for your great-grandchildren to go to college. How are you broke? Wow, that Peter dude, and he, another sort of went in, that Peter I, dude is hanging on. I learned that self-control is a very... I don't know, edgy or... can be tricky at times. I don't know, if and I had really good self-control, I wouldn't be so chubby. Look at that Peter guy. <laughs> Leaning all the way back there. He's bending over backwards to be grumpy. Just look at him. He's pretty grumpy. Santa and Blitzen are further forward than the Peter guy. <laughs> That's true. So there, I like them apples. You know, the truth can be deceiving. Wow, the springy thing on the right side. Oh, it was almost, it was stretched out so good. Well, what's funny is in, in game testing, it didn't have to stretch very far to move. It just kind of jiggle all the way off. No effort required. Huh. Then it seems like someone must have put them on more securely. I think somebody came in here and did some shenanigans while I wasn't paying attention. I think not. I think it was some Christmas trolls came in and decided that those... Uh, Springy thingies were not going to hold the animals in their pens appropriately. Well, 
I think there's going to be some tinkering with springy things in the future. Oh, no, oh, feet is down. No. Here. I'm going to try and fill up the push itself. If we could get the top of the rest of that tower top off, Blitzen and Santa would just fall to the side. Well, I'm filling the push yourself. You are. And you're pushing on the PETA representative. Nothing against PETA. We love our pets. We love animals. Well, my father's a farmer. And he actually, he treats his animals as humanely as we possibly can. Man, he had cows that practically didn't want to chew their own food. I mean, really, really pampers his animals. But, you know, look at him as a farmer. Don't look that push your Uh-uh, you know. But, you can't feed your cows nothing but sugar cane. That's all they wanted. <laughs> they wanted and citrus oranges. fruits. They wanted oranges and sugar cane. And while they were happy, happy cows. <laughs> and then they were delicious cows. <laughs> that, that was some very interesting uh, beef, I'll tell you that. more stacking. I don't know if we can save this. This is just a very bad game design all the way around. It's fantastic. What are you talking about? I'd like you see design one better with springy things. Oh, with my eyes closed. I put springy things in games, just not in this capacity. Uh, this is an amazing capacity for spring it, Well, there's a lot of potential here. Yes. Yeah. A long time ago, I don't remember when, there used to be a TV show that interviewed lottery winners like five or ten years after they won the lottery. And they were all miserable. <laughs> they were all the most miserable people. And I learned from that. Oh my that gosh. Too. If you win the lottery, the most important thing to do is don't change your life. Right. But I think that's really difficult because when money is no longer a uh, something you fight for, the behaviors change. It's like when food is easy to get. You know, our behaviors change. Right. No more of that really cheap mystery meat anymore for us. Yeah, dented can specials. All right, I'm playing leftish because our PETA representative is moving around over here. My mom always bought the dented cans with no labels because they were 10 cents and you get on. Is it cat food or is it tuna? You don't know until you open the can and then you're still not always sure. Is this really good cat food or really bad tuna? Oh, it's turning playing on the left side and trying to turn it so Santa is over the ledge. <laughs> I saw a lady, um, I think it was on Twitter. She, she got them. She wasn't watching her toddler with, you know, like an eagle eye. And the toddler had pulled all the labels off the canned goods in the kitchen. Oh! oh! And she said, Doggone Walmart, make it easy to remove labels. It's like they don't even care about children. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Okay, now there's a ton of movement on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. I wonder if those chips on the right might push the springy thingy down. But I'm not playing on the right because Peter is right here. Ooh, the, the potato chips are uh, falling one into another. It's pretty cool. You left the quarter stuff in here. Oh no, there it goes. I left my left quarter. I'm 
Let's see if we can get Santa out of here. What? Did I what? Did I what? What did I put my lucky quarter in the machine? It was sitting there. Oh no. Now I've lost my lucky quarter. Oh, well, he's always be with us. Somewhere. Somewhere. Well, I was going to scratch my lottery tickets with that one. Now, now I don't have a good scratch. We don't even have a lottery ticket because you were supposed to get me. That's right. Sure, he does love to play the lotto. You know what I'd really like to try? I'd like to try winning the lotto. That would be great. Because I'll tell you what, I don't think I'd be miserable. Do you think you'd have enough self-control? No. It would be a life-changing event. I would like to travel and uh, I don't know, maybe have a diet fishing come and laugh at my pantry and <laughs> tell me all the things we're doing wrong. Well, and on spend YouTube, time Karen. with you my husband. Just go on YouTube. I'll we'll tell you. Oh, don't laugh at your pantry for free. Yeah, I know. Now, I know what I'm doing wrong. It'd be nice to have somebody come in and say, okay, this is what this is what you don't like. Here's what we're going to do to make it work. What if they told you you're doing everything right? Then I'm in trouble because, man, I'm pushing it. Working on it, Santa, we're trying to push the red token on the left-hand side out. We're trying to keep the black token as buried here, I stuck like in the machine. Push it, push it. And somewhere over here is is uh, the other reindeer. What other reindeer? The other reindeer is over underneath uh, Rudolph. That's what I'm saying, over here. Yeah. Hopefully the springy thing doesn't fling blitz <laughs> all over the place. Might see blitz and go flying. I think we might because that springy thing is ready to do that. It is. Some good traction on Santa, though, I'll tell you. Too bad the PETA guy is like right there. Right on the edge. The springy thing is holding dirt glisten in place. Where you go? <laughs> Where you go, springy thingy? Oh, and Rudolph's no. not budging. Okay. I think Santa may make it out, but his animals may be getting inspected. <laughs> Maybe there's good cause for Peter to be checking this out. See if it's out of their safe account and the reindeer not so much. Well, I'm not sure what regulations Santa Claus falls on, under. For, I don't know. The protection of the animal. They're probably the best treated magical flying reindeer in the universe. Perhaps we have a wrong. Perhaps Santa doesn't keep the reindeer. Perhaps the reindeer keeps Santa. Oh yeah, maybe he can't get out of the North Pole because they don't give him a ride. Not like he's walking. Okay. All right, playing left. Trying to get Santa. Come on, Santa, we're going to rescue you. Uh -huh. You won't get caught. What's I'm this? hearing more and more coins stuff into the total, which bodes well for our live stream. Okay, there goes Santa. Stack them. We're in trouble. Stack them. Really We've got easy. too much weight on top of the black chip. There's no way they're winning this. And they won it. <laughs> it's like, they're not winning this. 
you got price. Tell people how they could have a life-changing experience. Well, if you'd like to have a life-changing experience of playing the coin pusher remotely, click that little subscribe button on this channel right now. Click all notifications, and that way you get notified every time we are live, every time we release a video, and every time I look. Sherry lets out a little scream because of the troll on her shoulder right now. That is not. That is not. I know you wouldn't do that because you were already in trouble this morning. Uh -oh. Don't even do that. Do what? Uh oh. He's looking pretty grumpy. Uh oh. He knows he's got the. He's found the. Oh. That's it. That's it. Side quest didn't kill. Oh us. man, no troll hole. Okay, well, oh, there's a there's a quarter Oop, right here, just standing on its edge. That's kind of cool. We okay. lost our buy-in, Sherry. We broke again. Okay. If uh, you're interested in winning a mystery bag, one of those bad boys, just answer today's mystery bag question within 24 hours of this video going live on YouTube. And you will be entered to uh, be in our Sunday morning antique digger machine drawing where we pull for all of the previous week's mystery bags. There's a bag for every game that we play. There are at least six bags in that machine every Sunday morning. You do not have to be present to win. Um, you're eligible to enter every single one of those days, too. So you could win them all. We had a fellow win five one day, which was pretty darn cool. Today's mystery bag question. What experience changed you? There's not a wrong answer. Um... We love to hear the story, and well, that's it. Hope you win a bag, and be the reason someone smiles today. Be safe, be healthy. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.